Hello and welcome to this edition of 3 Minute Tech. Today we're going to look at a website called Linuit and how you can use it in your classroom. Um, it can be used for a lot of different purposes, but here's a couple different things. It's great for class discussions. Uh, you can share information with students really quickly and they can share uh, everything virtually online, um, which is great. It's also a great place to share like resources and links. You can have pictures and videos um, and different things to quickly get those to students. You can also, it's a great way for check for understanding with students to see if they understood a movie that you showed them or a book that you were reading. Uh, you can really quickly understand if they've understood it or not. It's also a really good place for either your personal notes or a place for you to take uh, notes for your class and then share it with them uh, for maybe when they're doing their homework or project later they can refer back to it. It's also great for a lot more than just uh, the ideas here I showed you. Um, but now let's look at the website and kind of how it's organized and works. If we look at Linuit.com, you can see it's kind of set up right here. It's just Linuit.com. This is the main site you get to. Uh, you do need to create an account. Luckily, accounts are free. If you look at where to create the website, you have to create like a username, a password, um, obviously your regular email address. You can log in with Twitter, Facebook, or Google if you so enjoy. Um, whichever way uh, you prefer, that's up to you. Now once you do log, create your account and you get logged in, you get something that looks like this. And this is my uh, teacher um, login. Not that it's a teacher account, it's just this is the one I use to uh, interact with students. This is kind of your main screen. There's different things you can do. Um, it lists all your canvases. You can create groups that would require your students to log in. Uh, I'm going to show you though how I have students do it without them logging in. Now if I go to my canvases, I can see ones I've already created. Or I can click create a new canvas. If I click that, you can see I've got to put a name in. I can pick different backgrounds. Um, I can pick is it for my private use, show stickies to everyone, um, and allow everyone to post. Now if I look at ones I've already made, for example, let's look at one where I had students share uh, pictures. I had students create virtual zoos in Minecraft. You can see here easily students were able to share a picture in comments. So they kind of explain what they're showing. It's really easy to do, but at any Linuit um, board you make, if it's your board, you get this little window up here at the top. If I click the I, and I said I can share this in this public, I can give students this URL via Edmodo or my big campus or my Google Sites or my personal class website. I can give that them. They can click it and automatically have access to my canvas here. But that's kind of a quick introduction to what Linuit's possible. Uh, you can find a lot of other great YouTube videos discussing how to go further in depth. But it's one of those great sites that the best way to learn is just interact with it and learn. Uh, have a great day and thanks for watching.